Today, we're working with our friends at Chuck Spaeth Ford in New Ulm, Minnesota. Okay, welcome to our how-to video on the 2021 Ford F-150. This is the Lariat trim level. And uh, so we're gonna start with the digital dashboard. So it's a 12.3 inch screen, the, and the graphics are, are very crisp, they're very clear. Uh, so, in order to control what's there, we're going to use the buttons that are found on the right side of the steering wheel. And you got the menu button, the up and down arrows, the OK, and the back button. Alright, so you'll notice in the top, first of all, that there's four gauges. So, the far left uh, and the far right stay, uh, but the middle two are configurable. So if I press uh, on this button here, uh, the menu button, and then I go down to using my arrows. If I go down to settings and I click OK, I can go to configure gauges. Then I can click on OK again and I can say swap gauge position if I want and then and then the gauges swap okay or I can say left uh, for the left gauge I can click the OK button and I can decide that I want it to be instead of oil pressure that I want it to be let's say turbo boost and you can see it change and that's how you do it so then I just hit the back arrow and then I can go down to the right gauge and I can press OK again and then again, I have the same choices for the, for these ones here. All right, so I'm gonna say oil pressure for this one. All right, and that is how you configure those two. Now, um, let me go back here to the beginning. So I'm at my view. Now, uh, on my view, these are things that you can customize you, and then you can just use these up and down arrows to scroll through them as you're driving. So if I click on my view and I can press OK again, these are the things that you can add or take away. Anything with the check mark has already been added. To take it away, simply click the OK button and the check mark disappears. All right, so you have all of these gauges here. Okay, I'll add trip two, maybe I'll add seat belts, I'll add the off-road. Okay, oh, I can have a max of seven. So I'm gonna take trip two off because I wanna see what off-road looks like. Okay, but you also have uh, just all these. I mean, power distribution, equal behavior, EV coach, trailer light status, and then we're back to calm stream. All right, so now that I've picked some of those, I'm gonna press the okay button. Okay, and then you'll notice that on the far right, there's a, a little, um, well, it disappeared, I mean, right now. But if I use my arrows, you can see them moving. Here's my off-road, and I'll come back to that in a minute. Here's seat belts, and I'm just using the up arrow. Tire pressure, uh, trip one, this trip, fuel economy, and then the calm stream was the last one. So... I want to go back for a minute to this off-road one because it's, it's really kind of neat. If I move my steering wheel a little bit, you're going to notice that the that it tells you the angle of your steering as well, which I think is is really a nice addition. Okay, I'm going to press my back button here. So that's how you select the things. And again, to get into my view, you just click OK, and then you just simply use your up and down arrows. And you'll notice that like the last screen you get is this one where you can press OK to uh, add or remove screens. And, and that's the part I showed you. Okay, I'm gonna go back to menu for a minute here. And I'm gonna go down to uh, trip and fuel. So right here, you can see that I have fuel economy, uh, this trip, trip one, trip two. Uh, eco behavior, eco coach, and driver assistance. So we're going to take a look at driver assistance. I'm going to click on the OK button, and uh, you have this picture here, and then we have the EV coach, and then eco behavior, and then trip two, and trip one, and this trip. So they're all, it's kind of two ways to see the same thing. Here it's just kind of showing you if you want to go to a specific one, but yet if you click on any of them, and simply use the up and down arrows, you can get to all of them. All right, let's go back. Let's go back again. OK, 
Okay, that was trip and fuel. Let's go to truck info. I'm gonna click on the OK button. All right, so if I if I go down here under truck info, I, I will again get driver assistance. And when I click on it, it's, it seems to be a blank screen, but you'll notice that like once I turn my cruise control on, then I have my gap setting that shows up in there. And if I turn my lane assist on, right, then you're gonna see the lanes there as well. So that's, that's what shows up there. Okay, I'm gonna hit menu again. I wanna, I wanna go back to truck info because I wanna look at one more thing here. And that is off-road. And that's still going to be the same gauge I think that we saw earlier. Right. Two different ways to get to the same thing. All right. I'll go back twice here. And I'm going to go down to towing. If I click on OK there, then I get trailer light status. And I can also, again, get to driver assistance. Okay, hit the back button twice here. I'm gonna go down again. Now I'm to navigation. This is where you're gonna see your turn-by-turn -turn directions. You can also select addresses right from your steering wheel. And those are all right here. And you just simply uh, click OK here. Let's go to POIs. Okay, and then you can scroll through here. So without having to touch your uh, infotainment screen, you can get right at all those things right from your steering wheel. So like I said on the drive, everything is pretty much on your steering wheel. All right, I'm gonna come back out. If you have a phone connected, which we're going to do in a little bit, this is where all your phone information would show up. Nothing happens because I don't have a phone hooked up right now. Audio. Okay, under audio here, you can, uh, of course, select your station. And if your phone was hooked up or Apple CarPlay was, that would show up here too. So I'm gonna go to FM radio. If I click the OK button, um, now I'm on FM radio. You notice it's showing up in the bottom. And I can use these left and right buttons to change between favorites. Now, like any modern vehicle, your favorites include your favorites from AM radio, FM radio, HG radio, and Sirius XM. Let's go down one more. Let's go to settings. Um, we already did configure gauges, but now here, if you go down, you can put the uh, speedometer in kilometers per hour. Do you want to match speed units to road signs? Okay, well, you would if you were in kilometers per hour. <laughs> Otherwise, you'd be going kind of slow. All right, um, brake coach. This will help you learn how to brake so that you're regenerating as much power as possible. Eco coach does the same thing, just shows you how to drive the most economical way. Border crossing. Uh, I don't know why Ford's put that in there, but what it does is it notifies you once you get close to a border. Now, I, what I can't figure out if it's a state border uh, or a national border. So I'm assuming it's probably a national border. Uh, neutral tow, and then under vehicle maintenance here, you have oil life and tire pressure. So this is where you would go, press OK button, to hold, and then you can press and hold to reset after you have an oil change. We'll press the back button again, press it one more time, and we'll go down again and we're back to the beginning where we were. So that's settings, and now we're back to my view. So that is the information that you're gonna see in the driver's information screen. Now what I like is, uh, if you see down below the digital speedometer, there's your driver assist systems right there. So it's gonna show you that even though you have something else showing in the screen. You of course have your four wheel drive indicator um, on the far left, your outside temperature on the, just underneath the red of the RPM, and then a compass if you don't have the navigation going. And then of course your lane centering uh, is on or off with that, you can see with that little diagram. Let's move over to the infotainment screen. Well, welcome to this beautiful new 12 inch screen for the infotainment system. It's, uh, it looks really big in here. And it has sort of a 3D, a little bit of a look to it. It has an eight speaker Bang & Olufsen sound system. It has Apple CarPlay, wireless Apple CarPlay, wireless Android Auto. It has uh, AM, FM, uh, Bluetooth, and Sirius XM radio. So the, the way that Ford has done this, there's no more home button at all. What you have are these buttons that you're familiar with right down here with a few additional things, and I'll get to that in a minute. 
Uh, over here, you've got a separate window. So you can run two different things at the same time. Um, and so I'm gonna start by uh, going through this one here. Now, if I hit this, you're gonna get a bunch of different cards. And these are the things that you can display in the right window. Let's say I do um, eco behavior. Okay, so there I'm gonna see that. But over here, I can flip through any of these, audio, phone, navigation, uh, favorites, apps. I mean, it doesn't matter what I go through, that stays the same, okay? Now, what you can do is if you look at the right here, if you're on a screen that can be swapped with this one, it'll give you a little arrow. So I'm gonna use these arrows to go through Okay, so for instance, navigation can be swapped. So now if I just take this and go over, my audio went there and my navigation went there. Also, if I'm in an app that you may really want full screen, you'll see an X here, click on it and everything becomes full screen. And it is really big. Okay, while I'm on, on, on navigation, uh, the, the, this, the, the Sync 4 system, which is what this is up based off of, um, for its new system for the year is about twice as fast as Sync 3. So it's it's very um, responsive. Okay, I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna hit this X again to get my split screen, all right? And uh, I'm gonna go back here and we'll go through a couple of these. So audio, first of all, uh, if you wanna change stations, you can do it simply by turning this tuning button and you're on FM radio and you can see it move. You want to change the, the treble, the bass, there will be a button right up there you can go through and click on those and set them. Okay? And you can, either, you can either drag, click and drag, or you can use the arrows. All right? I'll hit the back button twice. So in order, in order to set one of these stations, you would just click and hold on one of these and it would change. And then if you want to look at sources, you can go right here and you can see the different sources we have. Again. Uh, your phone would show up or a USB if that were attached. Okay, phone. Okay, I'm we're actually gonna quickly pair a phone here. So all I gotta do is I gotta go to add a phone. Search for your vehicle on your device and select it once it is found. I'm gonna go to my Bluetooth settings on my phone. Scroll to the bottom, there's Ford F-150. I'm gonna click on it. And the minute it's going to give me a number and it wants me Confirm to match. Confirm that the pin displayed on sync matches the pin displayed on your device. And you say yes and then click allow. Um, now I'm going to click don't allow for the contacts because it's not my car. If this were your car, you'd want to go ahead and do that. Okay, you'll probably be asked to download a sync for app and you should go ahead and do that. But what I'm going to show you right now is now the second message is use CarPlay. Yes. And this is where you get your wireless Apple CarPlay from. Okay, and then when it comes here, you, you wanna hit enable for Apple CarPlay. Okay, then I can just turn my phone off. All right, so now uh, if I go back, it automatically turns on Apple CarPlay. It puts the icon in the row for you. And uh, if, you, if you've never used Apple CarPlay, it's like Bluetooth on stereo, it's, it's awesome. So, it, you know, it gives you a battery indicator, your favorites, recents, contacts, everything you would see on your phone. If you wanna use Google Maps, you can go right ahead and, and uh, just click, it's a shortcut right there. You can go to Apple Music, you can go to your phone, but you can also just press on this button. And then uh, if I press on it one more time, these are all the apps that work with Apple CarPlay that are on my phone. And you'll notice that Waze works with it. And actually this new Ford navigation works, does the, um, like the traffic notifications live. Uh, and that's one of the interesting things about this. This is constantly connected to the cloud. Uh, Ford says it won't sell your information to anyone. Um, but uh, it's, it gets all of its updates wirelessly and it constantly updates traffic and that kind of stuff through that same system. Okay, I'm gonna go back to audio a minute. If I go to sources now, I'm gonna see my phone. I'm also gonna see Pandora show up because that will work through the system as well. And it gives me a shortcut right to it, which is kind of cool. All right, let's go on to navigation. Okay, it asks you, do you wanna use Sync or do you wanna use Waze? So you can actually choose Waze. All right, if I go to uh, menu, 
Um, map orientation here, show on map more settings. Let's see. Um, you can do all sorts of things. I'm going to do the 3D heading up. Okay, and this is kind of what it's going to look like. Now, it's going to depend on where you're at as, as it, if they've mapped this yet. If you were in a place with buildings, um, you, you would see 3D buildings popping up here. And it's really nice because you can actually see where the parking lots are, where, door, you know, where the doors are and all that kind of stuff. So it makes it really nice for commuting. Okay, but this is where you can make all those adjustments right there. All right, uh, now, how do you um, program an address? Well, if you hit search, you can just type one in. Um, and then you can look for uh, preset things or like recent saved gas stations food that kind of stuff There's also the driver's information screen where this stuff gets sent to as well. And we showed you that earlier Okay, uh, but you can also use voice command Navigation To go somewhere say drive me to followed by where you want to go to you can say the name of the place an address or an intersection to find a place say find followed by the name of the point of interest an address or an intersection find mcdonald's which item would you like one here's what i found you can say set as destination Set as destination. Starting route to McDonald's. And there Obey you go. traffic laws. Be alert and use voice commands while driving. Please proceed to the highlighted road. Okay. And then, of course, to cancel, you hit the X. And it, the trip is canceled. And then you can hit resume if you want. Okay. Um, favorites. Uh, you can select two different things that will show up on this in this button right here, and they only show up one at a time. All right, so let's say I want an extra button here that's just audio sources, or just towing, or just pro power on board, or zone lighting. I just click that, and that button becomes zone lighting, or it becomes messaging, or it becomes email. Okay, we'll make it zone lighting because that's kind of a fun one to show you. All right, now. Uh, if I just click on this again, so this has a 360 exterior perimeter lighting and you can just hit the power button and turn them all on. So that means my headlamps are on, my tail lights and my mirror lights, everything is on. Uh, or you can see where all they are, or you can just turn them individually on on any side that you want. And then you can power them all off. Okay. Right? Um, and then you can choose auto uh, auto lamp override or disable that. Okay, um, let's go over to the to uh, apps here. Um, you can see that a, f a few of the things that were on my phone also show up in here, and there are some additional ones. And you can click on mobile apps help to find some more. Settings, of course, is where you can change any of the apps that are already in the infotainment screen uh, or make adjustments. So. Um, again, there's sound. This is where you would set your clock. Um, you can have multiple phones hooked up. So if you want to prioritize whose phone is actually connecting to the system and, and responding to the system, you can choose that in here. All right, um, let's take a look at vehicle. Uh, here you've got uh, a bunch of different settings here and they're mostly just to click on or off. If you want, to, if there's more information you need to see, uh, you can click on the eye and it actually kind of talks to you about it. It will it show you a video as well if there's one available. And then you can turn like easy exit, turn on or off. Okay, and they and they all work the same way, but there's all, all this stuff in here. All right, we'll go back here. Um, you notice that there are two dots down here, so there's one more screen down here. You can set up personal profiles according to your key fob. So when you set in your seat, your mirrors, your uh, steering wheel, your climate, everything gets set to your key, which is just really awesome. Um, you can look at the, the you can look at just the display here. You can have the calm screen, okay, uh, and you just tap it again to bring this back. You can turn the display off, bring it back. But the easiest way to do that is really to use this button down here. So if I do that, 
I get a calm screen. If I do it again, it goes off. And I do it again, it's on. And I really like that Ford put a physical button for that. Um, that's really that's really good. You can go in here and you can adjust your voice control, the assistant, how fast the speech is, how many prompts you get. That's all under there. Uh, you do have a vehicle hotspot. Uh, navigation sources here. Again, this is our place to select sync or ways. All right, now, so this was one new feature, adding this customizable button. This is the other one. If you click on here, it brings things up um, and it kind of separates them out, but you have like driver assistance. So all of your safety systems are in one spot. There's no having to dig through a lot of stuff to find them. And you can just simply click to turn them on or off. And if they have an I, you click on them, it'll give you more information. Click the X to get out of it. If there isn't an X or a on or off, you can always just click on the arrow and again, it'll usually take you to just an on or an off. So this is where you can customize all of those things, okay? Like for instance, if you don't want cruise uh, adaptive cruise control, you can turn it to normal cruise. You can turn it back to adaptive. You can use what's called intelligent cruise control, which will read the road signs. Not, not stop signs, but like speed limit signs. So if you go from a 55 to a 65, it'll up your, your cruise control speed for you automatically or slow you down. You can also set a tolerance saying, I, I always like to go, you know, maybe a couple miles an hour above the speed limit. So I'm gonna set that, or I'd like to go a couple miles an hour below the speed limit. And then your cruise will always do that for you. So another thing that you can option on your car is that down the road here in the next couple of months, Ford uh, is offering uh, for a one-time cost uh, where you can have, uh, it's a type of autopilot. Uh, this particular vehicle is not set up for it, but uh, if you get it as a pre-package, then when the update comes out, you can just download it. But what it'll do is you'll have, there'll be a little camera over here on the side, it'll watch you. And you can, on a, they say on a, on a divided highway, uh, um, you can take your hands off the steering wheel, off the foot feet, and it will keep you centered in the lanes and, and basically drive. However, the camera watches you very closely. And if you take your eyes off the road, it's going to turn off the system for you. And then you'll you have to grab the wheel. So um, that, that is coming, but that's an option. It's not on this particular vehicle. But again, you can option that when you buy them. Okay, you also have an onboard uh, owner's manual, which is really nice. And then again, in here, there are pictures and videos. You can do a visual search. So if you're not quite sure what it looks like, you can say, well, I wanna know something about this thing. And then it, of course, takes it to you, or takes you to it. Okay, so I just, and then of course, there are just videos right here. So you can watch videos on how to operate things in your truck. I like it that there's a dedicated feature button where these things are just right, readily available without bearing, being buried in menus. And I love the favorite button right there. All right. And then if you just, you just tap it again to edit it. That's all you do. I'm gonna make it recent calls. And now if I tap it again, okay, it'll go to recent calls. Okay, um, cameras. You have um, a camera button up here. So if I turn it on, you do get a 360 uh, camera system right up here. You do get a magnifying glass right on top, uh, which I think is very interesting. I've never seen that before. And I can actually magnify an area of the car and zoom in. And then I just hit that to go back. So then you, you can zoom in the front here, and I, I have to go back here and get the 360 again. And then you can zoom on the right, but I think that's just a nice feature. You, you can, allows you to have a much closer look at something. Okay, now, in addition to that, if I press this, of course, you do have just the front. You have a, a much wider view on the front. And then, of course, you have the bed camera. Now, if, you're, if, if you put it into reverse, it automatically goes into the reverse camera and the 360. If I want my, my parking sensors off, I can click those in case I'm pulling up to a trailer or something, maybe eventually I want those off. And depending on the system you have, there's a couple buttons that can show up here. This one uh, will automatically set the park brake when, I'm, when I, when I um, put it in park. 
And there's another one that will actually, this is where your park assist is, where it will automatically park your car uh, parallel or perpendicular. This vehicle doesn't have that, but that button goes right there. Um, so just an overall, just a really, really, really neat camera system. I absolutely love it. So let's take a look at towing here. All right. So because this has a towing package on here, you, you get all sorts of things under towing here. You get your connection checklist. Okay, it'll, it'll go, uh, it gives you a conventional goosenecker fifth wheel. Um, you can add a trailer and then you, there's, there's some measuring you have to do, but you can add multiple trailers and then just select the one that you have. Trailer connection notification turned on or off. Trailer sway control turned on or off. And again, information buttons there if you need to know more about it. Okay. So, I mean, that, that, that's just really neat that you have that. And that comes with the pro, the part of the Pro Trailer um, app where you can steer the car using this button. Uh, just really, 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 really neat. So, so many things. I mean, it's, it's twice as fast. You've got, you know, these customizable buttons down here. You've got the extra, uh, the, the main vehicle features right here. And then, of course, you have that beautiful split screen. And uh, you can, on sometimes, depending on the, the different card you're at, you can then swap these out. Just a, a really, really nice system. Um, and again, one of my favorite things is that wireless Apple CarPlay uh, along with wireless Android Auto. All right, I hope this has been helpful. Thanks for watching.